Hi guys, welcome to this video about DC it me. This is a website or function to clean up your online presence. They say it instantly gets a list of all your accounts, delete the ones you are not using. So basically over time uh, you accumulate a lot of accounts and probably 90% of them you won't need anymore after a couple of years. So it could be that you have some at least dozens or probably more likely hundreds of accounts where you have registered and they have your data. They are keeping, uh, they, they keep sending you emails, spam, whatever and you are not interested in their function or service anymore and you could actually delete these things or it would even be more safe to delete because you never know there are data breaches and somebody could steal your information and yeah whatever then they could do that so um yeah let's go a little bit deeper into that so here they say how it works, see what your accounts you have signed up, uh, up for. We give you a list of the accounts and services you have created an account for. You can click on that and this is how it actually looks. Um, yeah, if you sign in, you have to sign in with your Google or means Gmail account and then you get to a screen which looks like this and they say how many accounts you have there or how many accounts are left uh, you go through the whole thing and you decide either you click on keep or you kick, click on delete and all these sites will be then registered and you can then send them removal requests instantly so if you have couple of hundred of accounts which you probably would think it's better to get rid of yeah it could be a good thing but the question is is it really a good thing is it efficient is it safe so many many questions about that so uh, it looks like it started somewhere in 2016 from what i have found through the internet because i have found really a lot of reviews a lot of faqs a lot of questions answers and people asking of course is it safe that's always the question so when we check just this email it's a very very simple um website so what we find we don't find any subscription so we don't find any payment it, it, it's totally free and when it's totally free then it's not totally free because it costs you usually something so either you have to consume ads so this is not the case here or they will probably steal your data in some way, at least your email address and uh, give it to somebody who can then spam you with everything, uh, anything, yeah, you never know. Or they place viruses or train horses or something like that on your PC. So here it doesn't look like there's something really bad, at least at the moment, because you don't have to download, install, run something locally. It's just online. But you have to give them access to your email, uh, uh, yeah, Gmail email. So yeah, basically the question is, how can it, they do that? How they, can they find out how many or which accounts you have? they cannot access to all these accounts because you don't uh, you you are not providing your password to them because you, you you would have to give them all your passwords to all the accounts and then you could they could check and 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 whatsoever so this is not uh, working like this how it works you give them access to your gmail account and they scan 
through all your emails and are looking for emails which says like uh, thank you for registering at website so and so and yeah then they know uh, yeah that you have registered an account and probably they will also check if there is an email later on which says uh, yeah thanks for unsubscribing thanks for deleting i mean thanks yeah <laughs> or at least this is a confirmation to delete or unsubscribe and then probably they will think uh, that you don't have an account anymore i have not, not i haven't found anything like this uh i i mean it is not described how they will scan your emails but they scan the full text they have access to everything so they have access to your email and they know everything about your life what you have been writing to everybody what your favorite products are if you are interested into sports clothes electronics politically whatsoever so i mean yeah they have a lot of uh, access to a lot of your data and of course that can pose a big risk like as always they could even blackmail you when they find something illegally i don't know um yeah of course on the other hand it's always risky to have so many accounts like hundreds of accounts all over the world where you left probably some private information maybe phone number your yeah detailed personal information which they could also sell or misuse or they could be stolen so i mean it's um somehow you have to decide uh which risk is uh you you, you, uh, you are uh, more likely to accept the risk the risk of uh, data being stolen from this service or from accounts which you haven't deleted i mean uh, you could technically do everything by hand manually everything what they do you could do yourself but, but probably it will take hours days weeks whatsoever um yeah i have been looking i mean i have been reading for hours through almost everything which is available about this company about the website problems or safety issues or whatsoever and i haven't found a final conclusion about that i haven't found anybody complaining saying okay they infected my computer or they stole something or after i used this i was immediately spammed by thousands of emails some uh, said something like that that they got a little bit more or they thought or they had the impression that they uh, got a little bit more spam but uh, it was not widespread it was just one or two person so you really don't know what's really be behind that i mean there's no pricing no nothing nothing for uh, big companies sometimes you get such you find such services which are supposed to be free and then you see that there is maybe like here some about something about pricing and you find out that they actually try to target big companies and they have a limited small service to try for uh, like a normal private uh, person and they want to get uh, like a, a, a attraction uh, so they can sell their expensive products to companies and then you know okay usually then you don't have to worry about but here you don't see ads there is nothing about how they make money uh, i mean it could be that there just a few people had a problem with uh, deleting 
bulk accounts and they found okay when we do something full or fully automated we can provide this solution actually to everybody instead of just using it or doing it for us and we then finally uh, will make the decision if we find a real business case which where we can make money or to sell the website to some other company which has other ideas and make a big business case out of it and that's also a risk of course because maybe the original developer of this site the, I mean the, these are a couple of guys from Sweden I heard uh, maybe they had really good in intentions and after that they found out after a couple of years they couldn't make any money so somebody has to bring I mean feed, uh, feed their families and so on and if they find somebody like a spammer scammer I don't know <clears throat> then uh, who pays a lot of money for such a website uh, then maybe they could be uh, willing to accept uh, a couple of thousands tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of dollars for something like that and the new owner won't be as nice as the old owner um, yeah so actually I'm not telling you it's good or it's bad you have to know that this is a risk but also leaving the data on the uh, undeleted accounts is also a risk. The thing is also, I mean, they are, how, how are they going to delete? When you, when you click on uh, request removal, what happens is basically also they are using email. They have nothing else than email. They are scanning your emails and at the end they will request removal through email. And the problem is a little bit with that, that it's using GDPR, means General Data Protection Regulation, and that's something from EU, EU I mean European Union, and this is something that of course works within the European Union and not for granted outside European Union. So there are standard emails which you can send to any company in the European Union and saying, okay, based on general data protection regulation, you request that they delete your data and it has to work, but only within the European Union and not in US, not in Australia, not in India, not in China, not, and so on. you get the point. Okay. Uh, I don't know how many for how many uh, percentage it will work but it will definitely not work for all the accounts you have I have been I have found something where one guy of a company uh, wrote that they get emails from this uh, the uh, seat me um that they request to comply with the uh, gdpr uh, requirements but they said yeah they are outside the eu and they have no motivation to follow that so they put all these emails from dc me from the company itself into trash and also from the requests from the customers uh, one thing I wanted to show you that's the dc.me slash privacy policy there's something about this company and what they intend to do with your data at least what they say there's a purpose uh, and use of data you can read through that uh, there is nothing really to worry about what they say but the question is are they honest um yeah i mean here i have i haven't found anything uh which caused me to really worry but you never know i mean they can they could write anything here so and about the company uh you find uh the data here that's the company uh and the yeah there's even a support 
So if you're interested, I mean, I can show you how this works. I, I am now at my page. Uh, I have started to categorize uh, keep or delete and after that it took uh, me some time and I thought yeah how many are there and I checked and here you see that they write uh, I have 378 accounts left oh my god it will even take me hours to decide on if I want to uh, request removal or not if I want to delete, I mean these accounts I have decided to keep, here these uh, I have decided to delete, if I, uh, here yeah, I haven't checked that, uh, here I, I can uh, again say keep or delete or invalid, and if I want to delete, so let's say you want to uh, request removal, you get to the next page where you can even see what like the te text what they are going to send and to whom they are going to send it uh, with your sender's name then to then up uh, subject and the message is i hereby withdraw my consent to you to collect process and store my personal data uh, related to and belonged to me person to my rights under article 17 of GDPR here again GDPR which a lot of companies I mean probably 80% of the companies all over the world don't care about GDPR because it's a European Union thing then you can click on send and yeah then it depends on how they react to that so again i can't tell you uh what to do in this uh matter i have found many people saying they uh th that they found for themselves that the risk is too high to use that some people said they used it and it worked uh, really good some people said they used it and it didn't really work good because it was not everything deleted so I have to leave, leave it open to you, what I, but what I highly recommend at the end, go to myaccount.google.com slash security, I'll put down the link into the description so you can click on that right away. And there you find, here's the security and there we find, uh, where's that, let me see that, third party apps with account access and yeah here you have to click on that manage third party access and here we find the deceit me we click on that and then we say remove access when we are finished or if you don't if you decide not to use that so and they won't have access to this thing anymore and yeah but of course they if you used it in the meantime uh, that doesn't mean they won't have access to your data anymore because it's probably already stored on their database but yeah i mean it's your decision uh i have already tried it maybe you can ask me if you see this review in a half a year you can ask me how it worked if i got some negative impact on that uh, i have started doing this two hours ago i haven't seen anything uh, really bad at the moment but um, yeah i think it will take some time if it will have an impact uh, yeah so yeah that's about it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things especially if you already have your own experience with this site, if you have good experience or bad experience, it would be really nice if you could leave a feedback and we could have a small talk about this thing. And I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. Uh, if you like the, uh, this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.